are getting a head start on their homework, while these teenagers are receiving additional help with their Spanish and English lessons. They are just a few of the young people who come to the Signal Hill Youth Center after school. 15-year-old Jelani Williams appreciates the activities that include academic studies, agricultural work, and various relaxation activities. He says that more children should come and spend their afternoons here. I will encourage them because you're giving them more opportunities to go places and to finish up what they have to do and to build a good structure. The center facilitates young people ages 8 to 19 years old. Currently, there are 50 students registered at the center. They participate in the center's push hour, a two-hour session where volunteers provide academic lessons to the students. Latoya Roberts-Thomas is one of the 11 volunteers. She says that the activities are designed to ensure children make good use of their time while in a secure environment. Primarily, I find that the center is useful because not every parent can afford to send their child, their, their child to start like an extra class or some kind of structured extra activity. So at least a lot of the persons who come to this catchment are within the Signal Hill area and, and it's good to have a nice safe zone for children to come and play but also to learn. So there's a balance. Normally we tend to focus a lot um, during the week on school and then Friday is usually the fun day where you either have like a movie evening or we go outside and we do agriculture or we do arts and crafts or something like this. There's a lot of involvement from parents, community members, businesses and several youth organizations. Youth Auxiliary Officer Natalia Joseph says that the activities are meant to help members develop proper habits and good interpersonal skills. Now we are seeing a great change in that. Um, bags are placed where we ask them to put their bags. There's less eating at the computers. You know, they're more polite, even to us and their peers, because that's something that we impress on them. That is not just about how you treat us as adults, but how you treat each other. And we are seeing that they're more willing you know, to participate and to pray, we ask them to say kind words. You know, be a little softer in your tone. Don't shout and curse and fight and... So, yes, there have definitely been a change in their behavior. The Signal Hill Youth Center is one of the five youth centers on the island. That's managed by the Division of Youth Affairs and Sport. It was commissioned in October last year. The other centers are located in Bethel, Union, Castara and Pembroke. The objective is to engage young people in positive activities that will benefit their future. This has been your Tobago Notes.